right, guys, here we go. This is the formation of Fall of Cybertron's retail version of Bruticus. Here we have the five Combaticons. We have Swindle, Blastoff, Onslaught, Vortex, and Brawl, or Decepticon Brawl as the packaging uh, names him. And before uh, I even get into what we're going to be doing, you have the option right now of clicking any one of these Combaticons to see the individual review I did of them. Now, before you go and do that, I'm going to be doing comparisons of each one of these Combaticons in their alt modes with some War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron figures, as well as their robot modes. In the individual reviews, I did not do any type of comparisons with other types of figures. So, with that being said, if you want to see comparisons, stick to this video. If you want to see the individual transformations and transformation into the joints to form Bruticus, go to their videos right now. But yeah, pretty much what we're going to be doing here in the individual videos, I showed you how to turn them each into the legs, the arms, and body of Bruticus. And that's the version that the directions give you with Hasbro. But each one of these is interchangeable to another joint other than Onslaught. For instance, Swindle could be an arm and a leg, as well can Blast Off, Vortex, and Brawl down there. So I'm going to be showing you how to do all the different ways to connect them and transform them and all that. I'm going to show you how to make the actual Bruticus figure that we've seen in all the types of photos from San Diego Comic Con and such. So we're going to see it all. But right now, let's get into vehicle comparisons. Now, starting right off, we have the Fall of Cybertron Hasbro release, Deluxe Class Jazz. Now, I'm just going to grab each figure right now so you can pretty much just see how they scale together. Sorry, I'm on an unlevel surface. And he tends to roll very well, as you can see. If you have Jazz here, now you pretty much got the gist of how Swindle is. We'll do Blast Off real quick. Same here. He's a pretty common figure to have, in my opinion. So, so really, guys. Um, I mean, well, you can really see the difference in, bu in bulkiness here with the figures. Um, I can't really say anything much more about him. You're pretty much firsthand seeing the size difference between all of them right now or at least I hope you are because I'm not actually looking at the camera right now so I really hope you can actually see this pretty clear and Brawl's really not too far off from Jazz actually. Now we'll bring in the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe has released a Shockwave which is an excellent figure in my opinion come over here we'll bring Swindle up you see a major length difference between Swindle and Shockwave same thing with Blast Off here um, with, get my hand out of the way, should be able to really see that, I hope, <laughs> big difference between, <clears throat> excuse me, between them, um, now that I ripped off his guns, not that it really matters for a size comparison, but, oh, damn guns, these things are really terrible at staying on. Now you got that comparison. Bring over Vortex. Again, really <clears throat> not much to say about these guys. And there you go. And lastly, we're bringing the War for Cybertron Rage over Cybertron Multi Pack Megatron. We can take Megatron here and bring out Swindle. Little comparison right there. Him right on top. He's actually, other than the cannon, he's pretty much almost the same length as the body of Alt Mode Megatron here, besides his joints sticking out, you know, in the front and the back there, which isn't too bad. Same thing with the blast off here. Not too bad. Like I said, guys, it's really based on what you're what you can actually see. You're not gonna get too great of a real sight. Of the size of these guys but you pretty much get the gist of it they're fairly small figures they're deluxe size classes and this is just this is just what we're getting because leaders don't come as voyagers anymore they come as deluxes as well as i think onslaught should really be a voyager now since you've already seen the transformation and the individual reviews we're just going to do it real quick here we have swindle blast off onslaught vortex and lastly brawl and then I'll bring who other than the leader of the Decepticons, War for Cybertron, Megatron, and Fall of Cybertron, Shockwave. Obviously, he's not a leader, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And as you guys can see here, we'll bring out Swindle. And you can see he scales pretty nicely. 
Do I think he should be as tall as Megatron or taller as he's kind of appearing? No, I think he should be shorter, but that's just giving you guys a close of a war again with him. And then you got Blastoff, another one who's a little bit shorter than Megatron. Give you Onslaught. Then we'll go over to Vortex. And last but not least, we'll do Brawl. But I'm kind of nervous because he has some real balance issues. Well, and look at that. It worked out in my favor. So then there's Brawl. And now since we already know the joint configurations, if you watch my individual videos, we're just going to turn real quick into the leg, the arm, the torso, the other arm, and the leg of Bruticus. <laughs> And now with all the limbs formed of Bruticus, let's combine Now guys, there's one thing I want to mention real quick, and that's that these plastic joints right here are kind of soft, and they're on ratchet joints, which makes me think that eventually they're going to break. I really hope that doesn't happen, but these are really tough to limb together, and it was also kind of tough to at first get off, but you don't just pull it, you have to kind of bend it off, and each four of these tabs are separate, and they will bend right here. So, that kind of makes it a little bit better when you're trying to detach Bruticus, but um, it, it's still a real tight joint. At the same time, it's good because you know it's not going to come off, but it's such a tight joint that you kind of feel like you're almost going to break it. But without further ado, let's form Bruticus. Just grab Onslaught here, and you can grab him right here by the wheel, and just press that in, like so. Come over here and grab Brawl, do the same exact thing. There you go, and now we have the legs formed. Come up to the top of Bruticus here, and you could take Vortex and do the same thing. Whoop. And just plug him in like so. And then lastly, we take Blast off and do the same exact thing and peg him in. Just like and that. And now we finally have Decepticon Bruticus all put together. And I gotta say, guys, this guy looks awesome, except for one part. Swindle looks awesome as a leg, Brawl looks awesome as a leg, Onslaught looks awesome as the body and the head of Bruticus, Vortex looks pretty good other than his karate chopping hand. The real problem is going to come with Blastoff over here. He really ruins the look of it. The arm is just too long and it, it's just, it doesn't work for me. Now just to show you guys again another comparison with Bruticus here, here's again the War for Cybertron, Rage over Cybertron, Deluxe Megatron, Fall of Cybertron Jazz and Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Shockwave. You can really see how massive this guy really looks. Now, for now. his articulation, these are all ratchet joints. Well, not the gear up here, it's just plastic clicking, but that goes 360 degrees, as does this. He can rotate. I guess this is an upper bicep, you want to call that. He can bend inwards here. The hand can go in and out, um, but that thumb is going to go back on its own. So you can do that. Uh, over here, he can rotate 360 degrees. This can go forwards and back because that's his leg joints there. Uh, very little movement in the hand. The thumb can go flat like that to karate chop pose, I guess, if that's what you want to do. There's no wrist rotation here on blast off. The legs, there's no really bending if you want to classify. Well, these are the knees. So I mean, he can bend all the way back like that and all the way forward so that's good he can rotate 360 degrees these can rotate inward like that i guess if you wanted the leg like that instead that's really user preference and the same over here this can rotate 360 degrees bend all the way to the knee back but not forward and also down here on these legs you can go all the way back like that because of onslaught joints you can go forward, but you're going to pop it off a joint in here, maybe a little bit. Um, it's swiveled. You can rotate 360 degrees here with the entire leg from Onslaught. You can ratchet joint all the way out and in. And that posability goes both now for these legs here. At his waist here, he can rotate, but he's probably going to get stuck on some joints in here. So he can rotate. It, it, it's possible, you know, if you want to... I guess kind of pose him like that in the sense that maybe he's sweeping down to just pound the ground or 
mash some Autobots, whatever you want to classify it but as. But really, honestly, the po posability is just really, really nice. Now, his arms are going to get stuck when you try to rotate that waist. Now, his head also, uh, I believe it's on a swivel. It's not a ball joint, but pretty sure it's a swivel, and you can rotate that 360 degrees. I mean, down here, this is Swindle's toes. Those can go up and down, but the really Bruticus is now. That's really all you're going to get out of that. Now, also, my individual review, back here on Brawl, I did stick his hands out. They do go backwards, and that helps him get a little bit more stability, which is really great. Uh, the back view is kind of cluttered, just like the rest of the Combaticons. But other than that, guys, I really, just other than the paint job, ignore the paint job, what I'm saying right now. Just think of this, because this is the same exact mold as I've been saying. San Diego Comic-Con version, the new Takar version. All the versions you can think of, same exact molding, just a different paint job. So when it comes down to it, I really gotta, I gotta say I kinda like it. Now, I'm gonna show you other configurations and things you can do. First off, I'm gonna show you how to work on these arms here and get a little bit of a better look to them. And now, thanks to uh, somebody in the Mousetrap, that's a group on Facebook, he showed me a picture of a much cooler way you can set up these arms here to make them look so much better for shelving. And to do it, you don't even have to detach them from the figure. Very, very simple. All you're gonna do on blast off here is lift that up, and you want to unpeg this, bring that down, unpeg the head portion here. You want to rotate it so that now the head is out, and the cockpit here is now facing downward, like so, and face the head back. Now, you got that, which looks a heck of a lot better than the super lengthy arm. Still got the same posability, but it's just much shorter and in scale with the rest of Bruticus here. And there was also, what, what was really in the photo was detaching this. Again, like I said in Blastoff's review, this ball joint always pops out on You're it. just going to take each one of these pieces here that are Blastoff shoulders and just separate them like that. Now, when you do that, you can put it like this, making that right arm look a heck of a lot better. What you can do with Vortex, which I think Vortex is personally fine, honestly. Um, it's just something fun you can do. So you can lift this up. That's the back fin there. Put that all the way up. Bring this down. And open the blades up here. Now, when you do that, now the arms are a lot more in scale with each other. But again, guys, this is all user preference. You don't have to do this. This is just something that a friend showed me, and I just think it looks kind of cool. And then one last adjustment is down here on Brawl. You can untab this from his guns, because I think the knee joint here looks really empty compared to Swindle there. You can just push that up, and that really completes now, the look. Now, to me, this is a pretty fun way to shelve this guy. He still has all the same articulation, not an issue at all with that, and you still just, he just looks even better. Especially Blast Off because he was just terrible as an arm, and he's as bad as a leg, which I'll get to in now, a minute. Now real quick with his weapons, when you detach Onslaught's weapon from the back of Bruticus, which I don't recommend doing because it just doesn't have that Bruticus complete look, you can combine to make the Sonic Canning as the directions call it. And all you're going to do is you're going to take Swindle's gun, going to take Brawl's gun, peg those together, you take Onslaught's weapon, and peg that right under both of their weapons. Once you do that, you can come on over here, and this is where those top tabs are for. You can tab both of Blastoff's guns right under here, like so. Though I think I did it backwards, yeah. You want the pegs to be out because that's just how it has to work. So you're gonna peg those under there. Once you do that, you take Vortex's blades, peg that in there, and peg that one in there. Now that's one way you can do it. Um, another way is you could take this off unpeg that, peg it in the top here, like so, and now I 
pretty sure this is the official way that they show you how to do it with the gun in the middle and the blades on the side. And this forms Bruticus's sonic cannon claw thing. Um, okay. Not the best weapon I've seen. I've seen a single gun flamethrower with him and some other weaponry. Not this, so just reminds me of a Power Ranger combiner weapon But thing. again, you can take that and just the best hand to really plug it into is going to be the hand with Vortex because really guys, it, it just, he's got the karate chopping hand. You want to cover that thing up as much as you can. And now you really see he just doesn't look right without those two guns coming out of the back of his head. All right, guys, now we're going to do some interchanging of components. I'm going to show you how to turn Vortex and Blast Off into legs and how to turn Swindle and Brawl into now arms. Now what you can do is come over here and you can rotate this back. You can open this, put his hand in there. Um, it's preference whether you want the gun out or not. I like to keep it out. I think it helps out with some stability. But put that together. And again with the blades, your personal preference. I like to keep them closed. And it just sits like that. And this right here will give him some, some more stability. Not much, but just a little bit. And Bruticus will actually support... Well, let me get this fixed. There you go, that turned the wrong way. Bruticus will actually give the support to help this stay down. It doesn't tab in, you just hold it there. Like this. And obviously you keep that joint up and you keep this forward to cover the knee. See if I can get this a little better. No, I really... I guess the gun really doesn't give any stability, actually. But yeah, this is... His leg mode, and this really is unofficial. They don't show you how to do this in the directions. So if you do see this, you might see this in other places. This is more or less the unofficial way to do it. So there's a right or left leg. Now whether you have blast off this way or the original way, it pretty much doesn't matter. Just form him back into his shuttle mode. And once you've got him back into that, get ready for the big transformation to leg mode. There you go. Well, the more or less official way would be to rotate these panels back like that. And there you go. Big whoop de doo Big friggin' difference. Yeah, there's a leg. Not very stable, but we'll get into that. Now we can see a legless Bruticus back there. And here's more of the complex ones. Not so much complex, just kind of funky. You're going to lift this up. And we can bring these out. And you're going to see tabs on the side here, which are forming fingers. So you're going to want to flip them out. And this is right next to Brawl's feet. So you flip that out. Lift this up. You're going to want to bring these pieces up. And tab those back into the side as if you're putting them into tank mode. Flip his hands in. Once you do that, uh, preference what way you want to put the gun. I just keep it the original way. And now, the reason why this waist piece comes out in his transformation is for this mild articulation here. So you're going to turn these legs. Rotate these legs on the swivel. Connect them together. Tab his fingers together up there. And now you use Brawl's feet here. And whichever one you pull out is going to form a right or left thumb. So for the sake, we're going to make a left arm and point the guns forward like that bring that up and now you have brawl as a arm which is kind of weird and funky in my opinion last but not least we have swindle here you're just gonna pretty much bring that down the bruticus joint there and you have two hands in here you have a right hand and a left hand so make it whichever one you want for the sake we're making this one you can flip the feet in it's not going to affect the hands being out. And if you want to leave that up or down, it's user preference. But the preferred way is to take that out and kind of bring these up. Let me see if I can do this right. Untab his hands. Put those up in here. And you really just, you don't get much out of it. Now, just like we did before, just got to connect them. So you could take 
onslaught here. Peg them into blast off. Come over here and peg them into vortex. Already having stability issues. Then we can take Brawl here and just snap him on. And it's your choice whether you want that up or down. Um, I'm just going to leave it up like that. And there's him as a right arm. Again, stability with blast off is terrible. And then we'll just take Swindle here. Make sure his joints are ready. And just plug him in like and so. And now we more or less have Bruticus with all his different limbs. Um, okay. I don't think it works for all the Combaticons. There's different things we can do to work on it. Um, I get you, you could do that, I, I suppose. I, I don't know. Brawl just really doesn't work as an arm. I get the concept, but I just don't think it works very well. It's not very well implemented. And uh, same thing with Blast Off. He has real bad stability issues, but you can rotate him sideways. That might help out a little. Nope, actually, that's making it kind of worse. So we're not going to do that now. I, I just don't. I don't like this configuration. I just think it looks like crap. Swindle and... Vortex are the only ones that rather look even decent as a component. And the posability is just terrible. Like, alright, you're getting the same as Blast Off with this joint here. Um, over here, you're getting very little elbow kind of articulation. This can rotate 360 degrees. Uh, no real articulation here other than rotating and bending at the knees. It, it's just, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't look good to me. The only one who looks remotely decent is going to be Swindle. He, I honestly think, looks great, both as an arm and a leg. And like I said, guys, you don't have to make both legs and the other two arms. You could have Swindle up here as an arm, and you could also have Vortex as an arm as and well. And also, guys, you don't have to have both the arms be the legs and both the legs be the arms. You can mix and match them all the different types of ways that you want. As you can see here, I've now swapped out Vortex with Brawl. And that is one complaint that I do have about Vortex, and that is that... His Decepticon symbol is showing on the right arm. He is supposed to be on this side. So, if you reverse him, not only do you not have a Decepticon symbol now, but now all these screws are showing. So now when you put him on the correct side as a left arm, you don't get that Decepticon symbol there, which really kind of sucks. I'm sorry, Blast Off is just terrible as any kind of limb. Just no stability. It's just terrible. And again, this is the official way that the directions tell you to form him, as well as the packaging. And you can take his gun, put it in either hand. I prefer to put it in Vortex's since he has the karate chopping hand, which is unposable. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's just one last thing that uh, Matt showed me. Matthew Gorham, to be exact. That's how you pronounce his name. But you can just rotate these wheels forward, and that could work for a formation for him, too, as well with those other arm joints that I showed you before. But that's really user preference as to what you want to do. I prefer to keep him like this. Uh, I don't like the arm joint the way it is for blast off. I like it the more custom way. But I'm just going to leave him like this so you can guys just get a final shot of what he uh, really looks like. That's pretty much it, guys. If you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, stay tuned for more giveaways, more video reviews of your favorite Transformers. And once again, this is Mr. TF Prime. I want to thank you for watching.